In this video, you're going to learn how to make a maze like the one you can see on the screen now that Pac-Man is going to move around within. So just before we get on to making the maze, let's just make Pac-Man a bit smaller so that we know what kind of size we need for our maze. So um, with the Pac-Man sprite selected here, I'm going to click on this shrink button and I just click, keep clicking until you think you've got your Pac-Man to the right size. It's very important that you can still see the red little collision dot or whatever colour you've made yours. You need to be able to see that dot, otherwise um, the game won't work properly and Pac-Man won't be able to uh, stop when he hits walls. So don't go so small that you can't see it. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at about that size. Okay, let's go on to our stage and turn that into a maze. So this white background area is called the stage. We can access it by clicking on here. And um, we want to make this into a maze. So I'm gonna go to backdrops and this is where I'm gonna draw my maze. Now, you could have any background color you like. You could leave it white. Uh, you could use blue or pink or whatever. Um, as long as it's a different color to your uh, little collision detector, then you should be fine. Um, I'm going to choose black, so to do that I've just gone on the paint bucket, chosen black from my palette and clicked and that's made it a black background. Uh, now we need to put some walls in and you could do this manually using a brush or you could use lines but I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to use the outline rectangle mode. So this would be filled in rectangle but this is the outline rectangle and I'm going to make the walls a bit thicker. Uh, probably about that thick and I'm going to choose a color so I'm going to choose a custom color so I click here and I can choose any color I like and I'm going to choose this kind of slightly lime green and my advice is to start in the middle and work backwards so I'm going to start about here okay and then I'm going to draw another layer around the outside and one more around the outside there. Okay, and I need to move this all a little bit, so I'm going to use the select tool and I'm going to drag and select my background so far and I can move it a bit more to the middle. You'll see a bit of white appears where I've moved this. Don't worry about that, we can deal with that in a minute. Um, so I'm going to just move that over a little bit more. I'll get rid of that white by just clicking on black again uh, and the paint bucket and just clicking in where that white is and I want to have ideally I think I'd rather ha I'd like to have just one more uh, wall around the outside so um, in fact I need to move this over a little bit more you see it's all a bit of a trial and error this uh, so don't be worried if yours doesn't go perfectly first time because mine hasn't uh, and then I'm just going to put if I use this uh, color picker I can pick up that exact same color I was using before and I'm going to grab a rectangle and I'm going to make sure I've done just right around the outside one final wall um, like so now big important test is does our Pac-Man fit so we can click on Pac-Man and we can move him around and he will fit in there. He will fit in this one, that's fine. He is not gonna fit here. So I might try and make him just one little bit smaller. Does he fit now? Still a bit tight there. He's got loads of space there, loads of space there, plenty of space here. So actually I might've been a bit too generous here. So I'm gonna go back to my stage and I'm gonna get rid of uh, this this wall that's not quite in the right place. So I click on the paint bucket, click on black, click on the wall, and let's make a new wall that gives us just a bit more room for Pac-Man to move around. So maybe I feel like this is gonna be a bit too small now. But fortunately, I can just move it and see. How does that work? Yeah, that's a bit better. So Pac-Man is now in that gap and he can be in this gap and he can be here 
and he can just be up there. Just. That might be a little bit challenging. Uh, he's just can fit in there, in there, in there. So that's good. That's really nice. Um, I've deliberately left a space up here because I'm going to put my score uh, counter up here. So I don't want that part to be part of my maze because I need a bit of my a bit of my um, stage free to show the score and, and my time that I've taken and so on. Uh, so leave a bit of room there. Okay, so at the moment you might be saying, well, it's not much of a maze, it's just a, a bunch of boxes. Uh, and you'd be right. So we need to turn this now into a maze. And the easiest way to do that is we can get um, a filled in black rectangle and we can just start drawing little gaps where we think we want Pac-Man to go through the wall. So I'm going to put one there, I'm going to put one here, I'm going to put one up here, uh, I'm going to put one here, and maybe here, I might put one here as well, and perhaps I'll put one in over here. So now he's got some gaps he can get through, uh, and we need to put some sort of dead ends, otherwise, again, it's not much of a maze. So for that, I again grab my pickup color tool. So I click on that, I click on the green I want, and I'm going to use the line tool. And whilst holding down the shift key, I'm going to click and drag some walls that kind of break up my level. So Patman can't go through this uh, wall. So, but he can come through here, he could go down here, so perhaps I might put a little barrier there, so there's a bit locked there. I might split this middle section into two as well, um, so he can come down here, go up into here, or he could go all the way around here, yeah that'd be a bit mean, so I might put this here. So he can't go there, but he can come down here, up here, round and into there. That's good. Um, I might put a block here as well. So he can't come round here, but he can go up here, up here, up here, round here. So he should be able to get pretty much everywhere he needs to within the game. Yeah, I think he can. Um, but, you know, when you're designing your maze, you might want to do it on paper first, so that you're absolutely sure that it works before you draw it on the computer. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it looks quite neat and it's a nice amount of complexity. There's enough uh, sort of dead ends for Pac-Man to get stuck in, which is going to make it much more fun when we play it. So let's just check he can get through all the gaps. Yep, he's fine there. He's fine here, 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 here. So I think we're doing, we're doing okay there. Okay, so um, off you go. Um, go make your maze up. And um, when we come back together, I will show you how to make Pac-Man move and also actually stop when he hits the walls of the maze.